way to understand um, the concepts of open and fair data is to imagine that someone has told you that there is treasure, a treasure chest like in the old stories. Okay, so the first thing on hearing about this treasure is that you need to be able to find it. Where is this treasure located? Is it on an island? Is it up a mountain? Is it in a basement? So you need some kind of way of locating it and understanding how you can um, get there, a directory or a map. So once you know how to find this treasure, then you need to know whether you can actually get to it. Are there obstacles? Can you, you know, will there be... Um, wild animals or dangerous uh, weather conditions. What would you need to do to be able to actually get yourself to that treasure? Say that you found the treasure and you were able to get to it, but are you actually able to find the key to open it? Do you have the ability to engage with that treasure chest in any meaningful way. It's no good if you have the old antique key and it actually takes a modern padlock. You've been able to find it, you've been able to get to it, you've been able to open it, but is it the treasure actually useful? Is it something that you can actually spend in any way? Or does it have any value? It's no good if it's uh, coins with skulls on them, as in the picture, when what you wanted was crisp um, euro notes or whatever currency you might require. Uh, the price of gold might have plummeted, so that might not be any good. So you've got to be able to find it. You've got to be able to get at it. You've got to be able to open it. And then it's got to be something that can actually um, mesh with your own life. So we can see this as an analogy for the principles of fair data. Findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. The data has to be findable. You need to know where it is um, and that, that location needs to have some kind of meaning for you. It, it's, um, it's fine if you know it is on a memory stick in your colleagues or another university's drawer somewhere, but that's not going to be very helpful if you yourself can't get to it. Um, and this blends well with accessibility. So um, are there obstacles? For instance, is there a license? Um, is, there, um, is there a restriction in terms of uh, ethical or uh, protocols that you might have to meet before you can, can access this, this uh, data? Interoperable. Um, okay, you can access and you can find and access this, but does the data actually um, work with your software, your systems? If it was written on a software that's now gone out of, out of date or on one that your university or institution doesn't give, um, uh, doesn't support, then that's not helpful. Uh, you found it, you can access it, but you can't actually uh, use it. And then reusability, and this comes back to licenses, you can find it, you can access and, and you can and work on it, but can you actually reuse it? Can you share it? Can you include it in your own research? Um, you know, is it clear what those guidelines are? So you can see that there's a balance here between um, the data being open, for instance, it could be made available on a website. Um, so that strictly speaking, it's open, but if, it, if you don't know where it is, you can't get at it, you can't use it, and you don't know how it relates to your own research, i.e. it's not licensed in any clear way, it's actually not useful in terms of reproducibility or um, you know, moving research forward in, in, in any way. Um, so open and fair are not synonymous, and it's important to, um, to make that distinction. And open is not necessarily the best if it's not done in a way that reflects the fair principles. And conversely, 
um, you can have data that obeys the FAIR principles, so you can find it, you can access it, it is interoperable, a, a, you know, for instance, a read, readme file, um, and it is uh, reusable, it's got a license on it, but um, it's not open in the sense that it's not public. For instance, if it has any um, identifying information or there may be commercial interests uh, involved, it could be in a database where you have to request permission to access it. Um, so in an institutional repository, for example, and you have to sign an agreement before you're allowed to access the data. So open does not mean fair and fair does not mean open. The two things are, of course, uh, sometimes the same, but not necessarily. And that's an important thing to remember. 